So we are about to hit the road. And right before we leave, we got to make sure. Oh, you got sprayed. Sorry. I did? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, right before we hit the road, we got to make sure that everybody has peed and has eaten. Not unlike when human babies, I guess. One last bathroom break before we leave. When you're packing for a road trip for kittens, there's a bunch of stuff that you're gonna need. I always end up bringing way more for uh, the kittens than I do for myself, so it's pretty funny. Uh, but this is a diaper bag that I really like. This is just a diaper bag for human babies. Inside, I have lots of different stuff, so I bring lots of extra blankets for them, baby wipes. I bring these hot hands hand warmers because if you're in a place that you don't have a microwave, um, you still need to be able to keep them warm. So these are like single use uh, heaters that you can put in with them. I also bring a couple emergency supplies just in case something goes wrong. I bring an antibiotic. I bring some fluids just in case they do get dehydrated. I always bring a little bit of canned food just in case any of them are transitioning from a bottle onto their wet food extra tissues, some sanitizing wipes in case we need to sanitize anything, some poop bags, and I bring hand sanitizer for myself and for anybody else who is going to be handling them so that we can stay clean. I also have my kitten carrier here which has even more supplies in it, a scale, some gloves, I always bring a couple extra bottles just in case, eye meds, flea comb, basically a bag that has it all. Um, and since I'm syringe feeding Hank, I have a bunch of extra syringes just in case. Always bring something that you can mix formula in and some kind of scooping device and of course their formula. When you're on the road, it is kind of challenging to get everything that you need to be able to feed. So I'm gonna try to make as much as I need for right before we leave and then for while we're on the road. So this will feed them right as we're about to leave, and then we'll have enough to feed them halfway. What do you think, Marshmallow? So Hank is just a little over a week old, so she needs to eat pretty often. So we're gonna feed her last right before we leave. Good job. One last <laughs> bathroom opportunity for Hank before we hit the road. your milk mustache, Hank. I'm sorry, I thought that you were a boy. <laughs> this is uh, where Hank is traveling, and there is a snuggle safe heater inside here, so we're gonna microwave that to make sure that it stays warm for the whole trip. Five minutes. So this is warm now. This is gonna go inside this little cover. This will go in here for Hank, so Hank can stay warm on our drive. Hi, sorry to disturb you, just wanna make sure you're warm. So since it is pretty chilly outside, um, any kind of carrier like this that has a lot of ventilation, which is a great thing, um, you wanna have a carrier with ventilation, but if you're walking outside and it's really cold, you don't want there to be a cold draft getting in. So while we're walking to the car, I just cover top of that with a blanket so that there's not cold wind getting in. Hank has been on the road for about two hours, which means it's time to have a little snack. Okay, I need formula. I need, there's a spoon. Brought a little milk jar. I'm like one of the only people who has a diaper bag that does not have a baby. So the trick is that you have to make the formula the right temperature. If you have a formula, a powder formula that has to be refrigerated, you can put it in a cooler, put some ice packs in there. So this stuff is shelf stable. I bring a tablespoon with me, and then I bring some kind of jar. Now we have to make it the right temperature. So hot water and a bottle of cold water. My hot water, my cold water, and my formula. Wait, why am I all smeared? There's a little bit of poops. Can you pass me some wipes that are in Casualty there? of war. Yeah, one baby wipe, please. Actually, maybe one for Andrew, because he's got poop hands. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Always carry wet wipes, and 
and um, those bags are nice because they're lavender scented. So now it'll smell like lavender and poop. Sounds like Play-Doh. Yeah. Like Play uh, I'm good. <laughs> sure? Not the poop, the, the bag. It smells all right. <laughs> yeah, we'll take you your word for it. Oh, baby. This is a receiving blanket, which is for human babies. Or if you're a kitten lady, it's for burritos. Oh, you cute, all right. Three cc syringe, miracle nipple on the end of it. All right, so I got my formula. I'm gonna draw it up. Oh, yeah. He's hungry. So we stopped and we got some snacks. I got some Chex Mix. Hank's getting some formula. We're all happy. This is just part of road trips, whether you're a human or a cat. Gotta stop and snap. Ooh, ooh! Wipe him down with a baby wipe. <laughs> He's ready to sleep. Good night. <laughs> 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 